what would the fall be without some cute uggs now this is the big three of the fall if pretty little thing can't do nothing else baby they can make a matching set i don't know who i'm talking to i don't know who this is for but it's time to switch it up So hey my tater tots, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, as you can probably see by the title and the thumbnail, we have a video that's a tad bit different today. Today's video, we are going to be going over some fall essentials, fall must-haves, different things surrounding fall. Fall is one of my favorite seasons for those of y'all that don't know. No need for a long intro, but before we get into it, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up to see more videos like this. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell so you never miss when I upload new videos. Make sure you add me on my other socials. They'll be on the screen, the intro, and description. And let's get right into the video. So, first must have of this season i don't know what it is about fall specifically well actually maybe i do know what it is i think it's the colors themselves but it's just something about those different colors during the fall specifically hair colors that is it's just something about switching that hair color up whether that's dark burgundy or really anything within the red family those beautiful ginger colors and the best part about colors in general is that there's always going to be one shade or another that complements you best but nonetheless it's like it's something for everybody as y'all can see i didn't switch mine up a tad bit nothing too crazy at least not yet and this hair you see here is actually today's sponsor this hair i got sent over to me by love me hair this is their 5x5 hd lace closure 24 inch loose wave wig now y'all know i am not a closure girly however i do like to still install one maybe about once a year or so just to see if i like it any more than i did the last time i tried one and i must say this wig i really liked now if this was a frontal i would give it tens across the board but i did like how easy it was to work with very minimal effort that was needed to install this wig if you're a beginner or you're looking for a unit that just doesn't take much effort or you want some color but you don't want to do anything too crazy baby this is the one <laughs> even though i would still recommend going in and doing your own customizing just to personalize the unit more towards you specifically this wig does come pre-bleached pre-plugged pre-cut pre-colored pre-everything you don't really have to do anything additional to it technically but again i personally still would i would recommend you all do so as well everything is done for you and what is not to love about that baby it's just a win 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 there was a bit of shedding i noticed when i was first installing this wig nothing too too crazy nothing off the wall to the point where i would be like i don't recommend again nothing too crazy but i do think that's worth noting but other than that this hair is perfect for everyday wear fall especially for those of us that's looking to switch things up this fall i definitely love this hair would recommend as y'all can see i was definitely feeling myself when i first did it i am definitely gonna go back in and reinstall this wig customize it a tad bit more i did do a video for tiktok for this hair and with that i had to like test all the theories straight out the box and all of that and i am gonna actually glue it down do a ball cap and all of that just so that i can you know have it for longer wear i did this install glueless but i have all the links down in my description box for this unit as well as love me hair and thank you once again to love me hair for sending this beautiful unit over as well as sponsoring this video but like i was saying stepping into this new season baby we gotta switch it up i don't know who i'm talking to i don't know who this is for but it's time to switch it up let's do a burgundy let's do some honey blonde let's do some honey blonde highlights let's do a ginger color even a jet black a do it like it's just something about a new hair color in the fall especially now enough of the hair talk let's get into some of the fashion must-haves no particular order but first one being neutral color bodysuits long sleeve short sleeve sleeveless all of the above i actually just did a video on my tiktok where i was styling these bodysuits i recently got if y'all don't have me on tiktok already baby what are you doing but yeah i just did a whole video on that but just in general different color bodysuits more specifically the fall colors your olive greens your browns tans nudes for recommendations me personally i love 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 
Zara bodysuits. Nobody's seeing Zara with the bodysuits. But aside from Zara, I would definitely recommend Pretty Little Thing. They have pretty good quality ones. She in, obviously. Fashion Nova, I've gotten some from them in the past that were okay. And I actually just got some off of the TikTok shop that were pretty good. Like I said earlier, I did do a video on that. If y'all haven't seen that already, make sure y'all check it out. But aside from the bodysuits, just having like some neutral color sweaters, even like this. I keep saying neutral. Oh my goodness. Solid, solid, solid. Solid color sweaters. This one right here, I I believe this came from Pretty Little Thing. I'll link it down below. Once again, Pretty Little Thing, Fashion Nova, Shein. Those are pretty much my big three for the most part with just about anything fashion. <laughs> and even more so, if you go back into my older videos and I will have more fall fashion videos coming, so stay tuned for those. But even in previous years, I've hauled a lot of those sweaters and tops and things like that that I'm describing. So you can even go back into my older videos and the links will still be there for those. Now, needless to say, we need some jeans. Honestly, I would argue that some form of denim is an essential for all seasons, but when it comes to the fall specifically, it's just a necessity. Them temperatures are dropping, the nights are getting cooler, baby, you can't, you know, you need you a good pair of jeans. And again, as far as what kind, you know, you can kind of play around with different styles. You know your body, you know your style. Just, you know, whatever suits you, whether it be a skinny jean, a mom jean, a flare jean, Whatever floats your boat, baby, but some denim is necessary. Again, as for my personal faves and recommendations, I absolutely love American Eagle jeans. They have probably been my faves for a few years now. Nobody's seen American Eagle jeans. As far as who I've tried so far, American Eagle takes the cake. Fashion Nova makes some pretty good jeans. I know they can be kind of... You know, people can be iffy about them. Recently, I just got put on that Target makes some pretty good jeans. You gotta do some digging though and like really find the exact brand at Target. I wish I knew if I find it, I'll link at least one pair in the description. Or even if you watched my last Target video, which I also have in the cards and the description, I had a few pair of jeans in that video as well. So if you go back to that video, there'll be some links under there. And I also recently got word that Abercrombie is making some pretty good jeans now. Me personally, I haven't tried them for myself. I haven't stepped foot in an Abercrombie and I don't know how long. The girls are saying that they are pretty good. And I've looked at some curvy girls, some slim some all different body types on tiktok and stuff and i'm hearing some good things so that's something i would recommend i haven't tried them myself but maybe you'll have some luck and if you have tried them or have any other recommendations for any of these other categories definitely leave them in the comments down below let's help each other the next two i'm gonna kind of put together just because i feel like they give the same look they're obviously two very different things but I'm still gonna mesh them together. Jumpsuits and matching sets. These are absolutely perfect, of course year round, but more specifically in the fall, like I said, it's just something about those temperatures dropping, but it's not winter yet. But you know, you could still pass outside with no coat on for the most part. You got your cute little Lulu or your Skims, or even if it's not a name brand, just a cute matching set. Like it always gave effortless, never had to do too much it just always gave and it always will now pretty little thing when it comes to a matching set baby i've yet to get a matching set from pretty little thing that i did not like whether it be sweatpants leggings a skirt set whether it be any type of matching set casual dressed up pretty little thing got it on the matching sets and that's something that i don't hear a lot of people talk about if pretty little thing can't do nothing else baby they can make a matching set i also did a full video on different matching sets and things like that i'll also link that down below and even if you look around on Shein and Amazon, I've seen a lot of people get some really cute ones from there. Next up, I'm also going to put two more things together. <laughs> Hoodies and cute fall jackets. Now, as far as the hoodies, it's 2024. Everybody got a streetwear brand at this point. So I don't feel like this one is gonna be too hard. I'm not even gonna put an exact name or an exact label on what types of hoodies, but just anything that falls within like that streetwear type of category, or even if it's not necessarily that, just a cute overall hoodie. I feel like that is indeed a fall staple, especially for those days where you don't really feel the need to put a whole look together or you're really not trying to do too much or you finna just go run an errand or two or whatever but you still want to give get you a cute hoodie throw some black leggings on throw you on some uggs or some cute boots or something like that and baby you on your way like 
it just gave once again like i was saying about the matching sets and stuff it just gave never had to do too much it still gave baddie though right along with it the shackets the flannels the bomber jacket not bomber jackets but like the varsity jackets very easy to style pieces like that and make those pieces a statement and really give a look without having to put too much effort in because you could always take you your cute fall jacket throw you on a solid jumpsuit underneath it or do a cute top and some jeans and just match a shoe accordingly and accessorize and baby you gotta look just like that as far as my recommendations for cute fall jackets fashion over for sure she in i've also gotten some really cute good quality fall jackets from she in in the past pretty little thing they make some good jackets most of the things i'm listing off my big three if y'all haven't been able to tell by now pretty little thing fashion over she in like for the most part, anything I'm talking about in this video, you can find it on them three sites. But also be sure to check your Amazons and, you know, other sites like that. And like I said, baby, if y'all know any other ones, let us know in the comments down below. I kind of touched on this one already, but we didn't go too much into detail. But what would the fall be without some cute Uggs? One of the main reasons I live for the fall is for the boots. It's just something about them boots. I promise you, I'm probably like one, two, maybe three steps down on my worst day from Mary J when it comes to the love of a good boot. Like, I'm not where she is, but I promise you, I'm, I'm not too far behind. Overall, in general, just a cute pair of boots. Whether those be some cute knee highs, some cute thigh highs, whether that be some Chelsea boots, but more so focusing in on the Uggs because what's a fall without Uggs, right? Whether it be the cute Tasman slipper Uggs, whether it be the classic regular short Uggs that everybody's been wearing for I don't know how long, or even like the mini Uggs, all of the above, the Tasman X. I actually just got these red Uggs when I say, oh my goodness, they are probably the cutest shoe that I bought in a minute. And last time I list for the fashion category, we're going to go tote bags. Now again, y'all let me know if it's just me, but I feel like a good tote bag is essential for the fall. It's just something about, I don't know, I keep saying it's something about when that temperature drop, but I really feel like that has a lot to do with my reasoning for a lot of the things I'm saying about this stuff. Those Marc Jacobs totes have been it for probably like the last two or three falls. Same thing with the Telfar totes, baby, they're still giving. I honestly haven't been seeing as many people wear them as of more recent months but baby you better know i'm still gonna wear mine because the tail fires are just that the dior totes are cute as well if you got a little bit more money even the never fools those i feel like are a little bit more timeless but even bags like that it's just something about a cute tote bag with like some jeans a cute fall jacket cute bodysuit cute top underneath whatever whatever and a cute pair of uggs or a casual shoe Baby, that is the most simplest, most basic fit you could have put on, but I promise you it's gonna give every time. But yeah, just overall, the tote bags is always gonna eat for the fall. Now for our last category, we're going to get into the fragrances. Now this is the big three of the fall. These three right here, baby, can't be effed with when it comes to the fall. I do have a few others I'ma mention, but I'ma start with the big three, of course. Number one is her right here. This is the YSL Libre. Now, Libre has a few different formulas for those of y'all that may not know. I think there's like three or four different ones. They have Libre the Toilette. They have Libre the EDP. They have Libre Intense. They have a few different ones. Mine, and the only correct answer to which one is the one, is the Libre Toilet. That's the one I have here. This is the EDT of the YSL Libre. And when I say this is by far, oh my goodness, you just smell like money. I'm not gonna dive too much into notes and things like that. If y'all want a more in-depth fragrance video, let me know. But yes, the YSL Libre, if you need any fall fragrance recommendations, this the one. Now, right behind her, I'm going to go Burberry Her. This is the Burberry Her Elixir. Once again, this fragrance has two different formulas, the standard Burberry Her, the original, and they also have a Burberry Her Elixir, which is this one. The best way I can describe how this fragrance smells is if you've ever smelled the Baccarat Rouge 540, it smells like that, but more 
floral more feminine if you will and the bottle is beautiful pink and gold like oh my goodness this one or even the original burberry her formula i would recommend i used to have that one before i got this one girl i gave it to my mom because once i got this one i'm like oh y'all can keep the other one <laughs> she's that girl the valentino donna born in roma is also one of my big three this one actually i would say if any of the three can go all year long i would probably choose this one this one is probably the most versatile in my opinion this one is a lot more floral a lot more fruitier i wouldn't say it has heavy floral notes but once again you can look into all of that for yourself and this one has been trending for so long now if you haven't seen it at one point i'm sure you have at another and aside from those that i just named honorable mentions being the billy eilish perfume i know she has a few different ones i'm talking about the very first one she drops it has like a bronzy copper goldish bottle if i'm not mistaken and she smells really good she's a little bit more vanilla based in my opinion i'm not super crazy about vanilla scents i like them but i'm not that girl that's gonna go crazy with the vanilla in the fall i might kick it up a notch just because it's fall but that's one of those scents i absolutely love it and i think it's a perfect fall scent but i don't think that i like it so much to the point where i will buy it you won't find a bunch of vanilla scents in my house However, when in doubt, you can't go wrong with a good vanilla year round, but especially in the fall. So that is all I have for this video today, you guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Definitely leave your comments down below. Let me know what are some of y'all fall favorites, fall essentials, what fragrances are y'all wearing? What are some of your wardrobe staples for this season? Where do you get some of your stuff? Let's chat in the comments. Let's have just a good girl chat and just put each other on, share ideas, share recommendations all of the above once again make sure you hit that bell and that subscribe button so you never miss my new videos and make sure you add me on my other socials they'll be on the screen the intro and description thank you guys so much for watching and i will see y'all in my next one